Hey everyone, it's Carissa. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to have a little fun with flakes. We're going to get a little flaky. <laughs> I'm talking about the Nouveau Gilding Flakes. Now I only have a couple colors here. Actually, two of the three colors. This is the copper and the gold Gilding Flakes from Nouveau. Now, Gilding Flakes have been on the market for quite some time. They're kind of like something that's a little bit retro, but they're kind of making a comeback. So I wanted to give you some ideas on how you can use them today. So one of the great things about Gilding Flakes is that you can use them with your stamps. So what I'm doing here is I'm just prepping a couple pieces of Pale Rose cardstock, and then I'm stamping this sentiment from Plant Lady Say onto the cardstock using some verse marking. And this is where the magic comes in. <laughs> I'm going to use a little bit of the Ranger sticky embossing powder and sprinkle it all over that sentiment. Now before I heat set that, I'm going to go ahead and finish stamping the rest of my scene here. And as I go along, I'm going to coat the stamped images with that embossing powder so that I can see them and know where I need to stamp my next image. Now on this other piece, I'm going to stamp a couple of standalone images, a couple of flowers, and coat those with the sticky embossing powder. And then finally, I'm going to take this really big, bold sentiment, and I'm going to stamp it onto this A2-sized card front panel. So it measures four and a quarter by five and a half. And once again, I'm sprinkling on that Ranger sticky embossing powder. Now I'm going to let my heat tool heat up super hot, and then I'm going to take it over to the embossing powder, and I'm going to melt it just until it's shiny. Now this embossing powder melts much quicker than other embossing powders and you don't want to overheat it or it will lose its stick. So sometimes it takes a little bit of getting used to if you're used to traditional embossing powders. But what this embossing powder does is it kind of sets up sticky so that you can adhere things like gilding flakes or glitter or flocking, those sorts of things to it. So I'm just taking the Nouveau Gilding Flakes in the gold and I'm pressing them on to those areas that I've embossed with that sticky embossing powder. Now there are other sticky embossing powders on the market. I believe that WOW makes one called Bonding Powder. But this is what I had in my stash. It will not work with a traditional embossing powder. You do need one that dries tacky or sets up tacky. So you can see I'm taking all of these panels here and I'm just really smushing in those flakes. I'm working inside a shoe box because these things are super light. They will fly around like crazy. Do not sneeze, do not cough on them because you will have them everywhere. <laughs> but they're very easy to clean up with a microfiber cloth or a Swiffer dusting cloth. Now after I have them pressed really well into those stamped images, I'm taking them over to a scrap piece of paper and I'm taking a brush and I'm brushing away the excess. And you can see I'm being fairly aggressive with this. I'm not being really light with it. When it's set into that embossing powder, it really does stick. And by using that kind of coarser brush to brush away the excess, and you can see when I get the excess brushed away, I'll wipe these off with a Swiffer dusting cloth or a microfiber cloth, and then I am left with these beautiful gilded images. Now this is a little bit more foily looking than an embossing powder, but it has a little bit different texture than the foiling that you would do with say a mink machine and some toner sheets. It has a little bit of rise to it, a little bit of texture, and it's not quite as in your face as the foil, like super bright and shiny. It kind of almost has a little bit of a kind of vintage feel or rustic, a little more rustic feel. So I've taken this panel here and I blended some Distress Oxide ink up from the bottom and then I took a barely damp baby wipe and wiped away the ink that was sitting on top of my gilding so that it would be nice and shiny. So on this other piece here, I also blended some of that Distress Oxide ink over that flower to give it a little bit of color. And then I'll use the coordinating dies to run those through my die cut machine. Now these images here, these floral images, are from the new Essentials by Ellen release. It is the Rustic Botanical set, and I love it. Now I was trying to mat that piece onto this new Essentials by Ellen pattern paper pad. It's all black and white pattern paper. It's awesome. And I thought, you know what's better than mounting this pink piece on that is making a whole new piece with that same sentiment right on top of it. 
So I went ahead and did the same process. I prepped the surface of my paper using my powder tool. I stamped my sentiment in some Versamark ink and added that sticky embossing powder and then heat set it just until it was shiny. And now I'm going to take these Gold Nouveau Gilding Flakes once again and I'm going to add them over this stamped image. And that sticky embossing powder is going to grab all of those gilding flakes and hold on to it so that I get a really cool gilded image. Now I went ahead and wiped away the excess with my brush once again and I am blending on some more of that worn lipstick up from the bottom. These Distress Oxide inks blend really nicely on just your standard cardstock so I really like using them. And then I'm going to intensify the color along the bottom by adding a little bit of abandoned coral and I think I even brought in some candied apple as well. So along with being great to blend with, these Distress Oxide inks are great for stamping too. So I went ahead and stamped some of my images using those Distress Oxide inks onto some Nina Solar White cardstock. I used the coordinating dies to cut them out. And then I'm just going to add them onto this panel here. And you can see my gilded flower there with my stamped images behind it. And that really beautiful gilded, big, bold sentiment on that card front. Now, another way that you can add gilding flakes onto your projects is by using a double stick adhesive, something like score tape, or sometimes it's called be creative tape. I'm creating some diagonal stripes across this navy cardstock using different widths of be creative tape or score tape. I'll link those below. I use the half inch, the quarter inch, and the eighth inch, and then I'm going to remove the backer and then once again, just add the gilding flakes on there and just press those in. Now keep in mind, this kind of double stick adhesive also comes in big sheets, so you could die cut this adhesive and add these gilding flakes to dies as well. I'm using the gold today. They also come in copper and silver, so you can get some really cool effects by mixing the flakes as well if you want kind of a multi-metallic finish there. So you can see these go on to this double stick adhesive really very easily. I went ahead and brushed away the excess just like I did with the other. And then I'm going to stamp some images using the Distress Oxide ink once again onto some Nina Solar White cardstock. I'm going to be die cutting these to add to this card front. The green I'm using here, by the way, is peeled paint. And I, once I get these stamped, I actually wanted to pull some of that color into the center of the flower so it wasn't quite so white. So I'm just taking a water brush here and going over those petals with just a little bit of a damp brush. And that's bringing some of that color from the outside into the center. But it's little enough water that it's not like totally washing out the details on the stamp. And I did an entire video going over these Distress Oxide ink, so I'll be sure to throw it up in a card here so that you can check that out if you want more information on these. So once I get this image colored in, I'm going to allow it to dry or heat set it with my heat tool. I use the coordinating dies to cut out all of my images, and now I'm just arranging them on my card front at varying depths. So I'm using different amounts of foam adhesive to create different depths for my images that are along the front. And some of them are hanging off, and you guys, I almost died when I did this. I brought in my tonic trimmer to trim off the excess and I thought, oh my gosh, it's not gonna work. This thing cuts like a dream. It cut right through all of those images and left me with this really cool edge on this card where these die cuts are just kind of really cleanly cut off there. So it's almost like when you stamp off the front of your card, only these are die cuts. So I thought that was a really cool effect. Now this card needed a sentiment, so I'm using a sentiment from the Plant Ladies Say, and I'm stamping it onto the front of my card using Versamark ink and then adding some super fine detail white embossing powder, and I'm heat setting that. It says, every flower must grow through dirt. And let me tell you, it's speaking to me right now. <laughs> So I'm gonna finish my flowers off by adding a few little dots to the center using my Zig two-way glue pen. Now because this glue pen also dries tacky, it's great for adhering little bits or little details onto your stamped images as well. So that finishes my card projects for today and this look at the Nouveau Gilding Flakes. I use the gold in all of my projects today because if you know me at all, <laughs> You know I'm a gold girl, and I didn't use gold glitter, so you have to be a little bit proud of me for that.
As always, I will have links to all the featured products in the description at YouTube, but head on over to the InTouch blog because I'll have more information for you over there, more still shots, and a complete list of supplies used in these projects, and maybe a few extra tips and tricks over there as well. So be sure you check that out, and I'll leave that link below. Thanks for stopping by today. I really hope you enjoyed these projects. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we are always posting fabulous video tutorials there. Thanks for watching and thanks for hanging out with me today. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.